Good morning everyone, this is Vishwas. So today I am going to tell you about the basic difference between solid, liquid and gases. As we have already understand all the basic concepts of the difference between solid, liquid and gases in the previous video. So if those who have not seen that video, they can see and then have a look on this video. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to differentiate between solid, liquid and gases and we are going to move further in this chapter. So, the first point of differentiate between the solid, liquid and gases, as you can see in this figure on your screen, solids are rigid in comparison to liquids and gases. Like, solids cannot change its shape, but liquids can change its shape and gases do not change its shape. They have a definite shape and volume we are talking about solids right now we have a definite shape and volume and liquids do not have definite shape but have definite volume in case of gases as i told you by giving an example of a perfume that 10, 10 milligram of perfume can occupy the whole room how because they get mixed with the gaseous molecules and gases do not have any fixed volume so gases neither have definite shape neither definite volume it just takes the shape of the container in which it is kept same for liquids so again coming back to solids solids particles have low kinetic energy liquid molecules have intermediate kinetic energy intermediate means in dono ke beach ki right gases have very energy due to which the particles can go here and there and possess higher Brownian motion right so it can't be compressed liquids can be compressed and gases can be compressed at some extent level right so solids their molecules are held rightly by strong nuclear forces so we can call it by strong intermolecular forces also because they are quite tight. Why they are tight? Because the atoms of the solids they are quite tightly bounded due to high intermolecular forces of attraction. In case of molecules of liquids when we talk about they are in, at an intermediate level their forces of attraction are weaker than solids but more than gases. And in gases, the forces of attraction between the molecules are quite weaker, right? Next point, we are going to talk about solids. Is solids are present in very dense form. Dense as you see in the figure also. I am going to show you again. See this. It is quite dense, right? Dense means a large number of atoms or molecules they are present in a small space. As you can able to see in this figure, right? In case of liquids, they are present in intermediate level intermediate level means they do not have much space they do not have much less space right so the space of the liquid is more than solids but less than gases as you can see in this figure also and gases possess very low density means the gases have very less density because the particles are very far away from each other right solids can because they are tightly bonded so they cannot flow one flowing property as you know all the liquids flow whether it's dense or not it takes some time dense liquid takes some time but it will flow flows and evaporates easily gases can flow easily so both liquids and gases they have a property known as fluidity right the diffusion rate is very low in case of solids diffusion rate means they cannot in they can or cannot intermix with other uh, substances like i have given an example of sugar in water it can mix whether sugar is a solid but most of the solids like wood they cannot mix in water because the molecule or the bonding between the atoms is quite strong right the diffusion rate is written in case of liquids and higher rate in case of gases right so in this figure you can see there are all the points of differentiate that i have mentioned also right hope this is clear now coming to the next topic 
that is change of matter right what do you mean by the change of state of matter the phenomena of change from one state of matter to another so this phenomena of change of one state of matter to another and then back to the original state इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ मैटर मतलब ये कुछ ऐसा हुआ जैसे हम लोग वाटर लेते हैं उसे रेफ्रिजरेटर में डालते हैं वो फ्रीज होता है आइस बनती है आइस बनने के बाद जब हम उसे बाहर निकालते हैं अगेन वो किस में आ जाता है बैक टू लिक्विड फॉर्म राइट तो दिस इज नोन एज इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ मैटर राइट मैटर कैन चेंज इट वाटर कैन एक्सिस्ट इन थ्री स्टेट ऑफ मैटर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट आई हैव टोल्ड यू solid as ice liquid as water and gas as water vapor so in this you can see different states of matter of water only so when it is uh, the temperature is quite low it converted into ice when the temperature is at the normal room temperature then it is uh, liquid then after uh, when we give some energy kinetic energy or heat energy to the water then it is getting converted into water vapor that is why process of evaporation or boiling it can be either of them so before going to the another concept of kinetic energy i have to tell you something about the characteristics of these three states of matter first right so let's look have a look over that vector state Oh, characteristic of the particles of matter. This is the first characteristic. Particles of matter have space between them. This I have already explained you among solid, liquid, and gases. Let's understand. Gas can be compressed a lot because of the space between their particles. As we have already understood with, uh, the point or differences between the solid, liquid, and gases. So let's take an example. When sugar is dissolved in water, the particles of sugar disappear in water. Right. I have told you why it get disappeared in water because it takes the intermolecular spaces which is available to them and they get settle over there only. As you know, the water is having uh, some spaces between their atoms or molecules. So, what happened was sugar molecules has taken those spaces and they get settle over there. That's why we call it uh, dissolved form, right? particles of matter attract each other because of force of attraction what happened in this case i have told you one more point between solid liquid and gases that they have some forces of attraction between them those forces of attraction basically means their molecules have some kind of attraction energies so that they are in they can exist in some states like solid liquid and gases if they attract each other with a strong force then it is a solid if the forces are little bit weak then those are known as liquids if the forces are quite weak on uh, these intermolecular forces we can say that we call as gases right because of the low force of attraction in the particles of gas we can move our hand through here have you ever thought of this thing if you are not a karate expert can you able to think of uh, breaking a brick no you won't even try because you know you get a hit or you get hurt while breaking a brick because brick is quite solid and you can't uh, able to penetrate your hand through that then when we take of uh, swimming most of you knows how to swim right so in case of swimming what you can do is while swimming you insert your body as well as you just cut off the water from your hands right so how can you able to cut off those water the water can be cut off because they have a little bit forces of attraction between them but your body requires certain force for that while swimming you get a little bit tired because you have to apply a little bit force in order to penetrate through those forces of attraction but in case of gases while walking or while moving your hand in the air what happens very less amount of force you require because gases the molecules of the gases 
are very far away from each other and due to these intermolecular forces of attraction there are large spaces in between them due to which you can easily able to penetrate to uh, through those particles right so you can uh, move your uh, hand in the air you can do that also so the force of attraction between the particles of solid and gas can be arranged in anything order as follows all have the maximum liquid has little bit lesser than solids and least in case of gases this is we are talking about forces of attraction right so this solid liquid and gases we have studied earlier also now we are going to jump to an important concept that we have heard right now in this chapter but let's let improve our knowledge related to that concept that is the concept of kinetic energy can you able to see this figure out here i hope so it will be uh, easily visible to all of you so here you can see a chart which is showing low kinetic energy to high kinetic energy right solids have low kinetic energy don't pay attention towards this pose einstein condensate because this is the fifth state of matter right that i will tell you at last when we are going to talk about both einstein condensate and this one plasma right so don't worry about this i will make you understand about both these concepts also firstly let's focus on solid liquid and gas right so kinetic energy as you can see gases have more kinetic energy liquids have less than gas but uh, more than solids and solids have least kinetic energy till now actually both ice and condensate has the least but we will study at last how why they are having the least kinetic energy so kinetic energy depends upon the temperature that i have already explained you in the last video kinetic energy depends upon the temperature how uh, i have given you an example of boiling just remember that i am explaining it again while boiling have you seen the molecules of water coming up from the bottom why it is coming up from the bottom because from the bottom we are applying certain kind of energy and the molecules which are at the bottom surface which are in direct contact with the uh, your pan that is getting heat and those heated up molecules have some kinetic energy and they are going up right why they are going up because they are having kinetic energy and they just want to leave the surface and they just want to break those forces of attraction that they are already having in case of liquids and if they will break the forces of attraction then they are going to convert it into gaseous form so see this temperature increases kinetic energy also increases temperature decreases then kinetic energy also decreases right okay now let's see this figure interconversion between the states of matter i hope you can able to see this figure it's quite clear right so there is certain things are mentioned over here like the three states of matter solid liquid gas and liquid so what happened in this case was if we will start from here let's start from here liquid interconversion of states of matter right when liquid gets solidified solidified it can be freezing right so it gets freeze then it becomes solid when we give certain amount of heat to the solid then what will happen it gets melt and uh, it gets converted into liquid form and when we uh, talk about liquid when we provide certain amount of energy to liquid then what will happen it get converted into gaseous form that is why evaporation also that is can be with the help of evaporation that means evaporation and boiling both plays an important role in converting the liquid to the gaseous form or we can say it into uh, vapor form right so there is one more thing when gas gets converted into liquid how we can convert it by applying certain amount of pressure and under certain temperature conditions so this process is known as 
condensation right that means gas can be converted into liquid as well by lowering down the temperature and by increasing the pressure right so that the intermolecular forces between the molecules of gases can decrease by increasing pressure so the gas can be directly converted into solids also how come by the process of deposition if we just lower the temperature up to an extent and we increase the pressure so what will happen the forces of attraction become strong how come they become strong because the molecules will come closer under high pressure and low temperature conditions so this process is known as deposition and what is sublimation then sublimation as you can see the arrow that's the reverse process of deposition that is solid to directly gaseous form that's quite good solid to direct gaseous form what do you mean by this statement is when we just increase the what we are going to increase here yes we are going to increase temperature by increasing the temperature the solid won't go to the liquid state it will directly goes into the gaseous form that process is known as sublimation yes pressure also plays a very important role over here but basically the temperature is there right so let's come to the another topic effect of temperature we have already uh, gone through this figure and in this figure we have uh, learned about on increasing temperature the kinetic energy of the particle increases which overcomes the forces of attraction between particles thereby solid melt and convert into liquid so due to increase of temperature all this is going on so what is melting point this is the temperature which a solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure have you seen this word that i'm pointing out right now this is atmospheric pressure this you have already studied in class 8 i hope you remember that the temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure is called its melting point so melting point for the ice is 273.16 and this case kelvin right yeah i know you have heard about uh, celsius but this is another form of uh, measuring the temperature uh, might be you have heard this this is kelvin you will know uh, we will do certain numericals online later on right so fusion what is fusion the process of melting that is change of solid into liquid state is called fusion just read this line the process of melting that means we have to supply heat over here and the change of solid into liquid yahan pe kya ho raha hai solid liquid mein convert ho raha hai aur isme kya fusion fusion matlab fuse hona alag hai right liquid uh, latent heat so what do you mean by latent heat here the hidden heat matlab ye chupi hui heat hoti hai that breaks the forces of attraction between the molecules right which breaks the forces of attraction between the molecules is known as latent heat since the heat energy is hidden in the bulk of the matter it is known as latent heat bulk means bahut zyada amount of uh, energy hoti hai jo hidden hoti hai hamare uh, matter ke atoms ke andar so ise hum bolte hain latent heat right so latent heat of fusion kya hota latent heat of fusion means the heat energy required to convert kilogram only 1 kilogram not more or less than that of solid into liquid agar 1 kg solid ko hum liquid mein convert karenge atmospheric pressure pe hi then it is known as its melting point at its melting point is known as its latent heat of fusion so ise hum kahenge jab one ki solid liquid mein convert hoga ek atmospheric pressure pe aur melting point pe then usse hum kahenge राइट बेसिकली अगर मैं इसे और थोड़ा इजी हिंदी में कन्वर्ट करूं तो ये एक ऐसी अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी है जो वन के जी सॉलिड को लिक्विड में कन्वर्ट करने के काम आएगी एट एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर और उसके मेल्टिंग पॉइंट पे क्योंकि लिक्विड का मेल्टिंग पॉइंट अलग होता है 
that is known as latency of fusion right अब जैसे यहाँ पे हमने देखा कि लिक्विड में कन्वर्ट हो रहा है सॉलिड से लिक्विड में कन्वर्ट हो रहा है ऐसे फिर लिक्विड से गैसेस में भी तो जाएगा बिल्कुल जाएगा राइट पहले हम उससे पहले हम पढ़ते हैं बॉइलिंग पॉइंट क्या होता है फिर हम लेटेंट हीट ऑफ वेपराइजेशन के बारे में पढ़ेंगे राइट सो बॉइलिंग पॉइंट होता है द टेम्परेचर एट विच अ लिक्विड स्टार्ट बॉइलिंग एक ऐसा पॉइंट एक ऐसा टेम्परेचर जहाँ पे कोई भी लिक्विड बॉयल करना स्टार्ट करता है राइट एट एटमोस्फिक बॉइलिंग पॉइंट और अगर हम वाटर के लिए देखें तो वाटर के लिए बॉइलिंग पॉइंट क्या होता है हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस ये दैट इज यू विल कन्वर्ट इज हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस इन टू कैलविन दैट इज थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन इट्स अप्रॉक्सीमेट वैल्यू इट्स एक्चुअली थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव कैलविन राइट तो बॉइलिंग इज बेसिकली अ बल्क फिनोमना बल्क फिनोमना का मतलब क्या होता है बॉइलिंग ऐसा नहीं है कि लिक्विड के कुछ पार्ट में होगा और कुछ में नहीं होगा अगर आप वाटर बॉयल कर रहे हैं तो सारा वाटर एक साथ बॉयल होना शुरू होता है ऐसा नहीं है पहले नीचे का वाटर बॉयल हो रहा है या ऊपर का हो रहा है मिडल का बाद में होगा ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता वाटर का पूरा का पूरा टेम्परेचर ही एक साथ वेरी करता है तभी उसे बॉइलिंग माना जाता है अदरवाइज वो इवेपोरेशन कैटेगरी में चला जाता है राइट सो पार्टिकल फ्रॉम द बल्क ऑफ द लिक्विड गेन एनर्जी टू चेंज वेपराइजेशन As I have told you about latent heat of fusion here. So this is latent heat of vaporization. Here we are going to convert one kilogram of liquid. पहले हमने क्या किया था solid to liquid में किया था. अब हम liquid to gases में करेंगे. तो ऐसी amount of energy जो one kg of liquid को gas में convert करे atmospheric pressure पे और उसके boiling point पे. It is known as latent heat of vapor. जब भी हम वेपराइजेशन की बात करेंगे वेपर्स कब बनेंगे बॉइलिंग पॉइंट राइट वेपोरेशन पे भी होता है ऐसा बट वो हम बाद में अभी पढ़ेंगे ठीक है सो नाउ देर इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ कंडेंसेशन एंड लिक्विड फ्रैक्शन मैंने आपको ऊपर एक टेबल में समझाया था अभी अबाउट द कंडेंसेशन राइट सो हेयर इज द डेफिनेशन फॉर द कंडेंसेशन कंडेंसेशन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लिक्विड फ्रैक्शन आई वी कॉल इट लिक्विड फ्रैक्शन बिकॉज इन दिस गैसेज On cooling, turns it into liquid at a specific temperature. अब इससे हम day-to-day life में कैसे correlate कर सकते हैं? एक मैंने example तो ये दिया हुआ है formation of clouds. But इसमें हम एक और point add on कर सकते हैं. जैसे आपने देखा होगा, there is some snowfall और हमारे यहाँ पर ओले पड़ रहे हैं. ठीक है? ओले क्या होता है? That's a form of ice only, right? That's a form of water basically. So why that liquid which is present in the atmosphere uh, when the temperature gets sudden drop right so that liquid get converted into converted into solid form but that solid form we cannot call as condensation in what we call that just think and then reply right so when the gas got into liquid we call it liquid fraction for example when the water is present in the vapors form in the atmosphere and the rainfall happens like we used to say ki humidity bahut zyada ho rahi humidity kab hoti hai jab water vapors atmosphere mein bahut zyada ho jate hain then it sudden rainfall happens so wo rainfall jab hoti hai to usse hum kehte hain condensation or liquid fraction right so formation of clouds due to the condensation of water vapor on the earth surface this is also an example of condensation or liquefaction right so next one is sublimation the change of state of liquid directly from solid to gas ab hum solid se directly gaseous form mein ja rahe hain without changing into liquid state han ji aapne bilkul sahi suna solid se direct gaseous form mein theek hai aur iska vice versa bhi possible hai jise hum kehte hain sublimation राइट वाइस वर्षा को कई लोग डिपोजिशन भी बोलते हैं दैट्स आल्सो करेक्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड 
earlier. So this is known as sublimation also. Freezing point, what do you mean by freezing point now? Huh? Yes, you are quite uh, thinking in a right way that the temperature at the substance changes from liquid to solid. Like you freeze it, you take water and it gets freezed up after some time, right? That is uh, known as freezing or uh, the water freezing point is 0 degree centigrade. Am I right? Yes. So let's jump to the next topic. That is when a solid melts, its temperature remains the same, but heat gets used up in changing the state by overcoming the forces of attraction between the particles. I have told you earlier about latent heat. Now let's understand the process involved in the latent heat, right? A solid jump melt cut and temperature to same rather at this time but but heat can jati hai it get you in changing the force or the in changing the state ab hota kya hai kuch time tak to aapka jo solid hai uska temperature same rehta hai chahe wo melt hona shuru bhi ho jaye kyun aisa because us time pe jo heat energy hai wo uski sirf intramolecular forces of attraction ko break karne ka kaam kar rahi hai ठीक है उसका टेंपरेचर नहीं डिक्रीज कर रहा राइट तभी वो मेल्ट होना शुरू हो जाता है बट उसका टेंपरेचर ड्रॉप नहीं होता दिस इज कंसीडर्ड इट इज कंसीडर्ड दैट इट गेट्स हिडन इनटू द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द बीकर एंड इज नोन एज लेटेंट हीट सो वो ये पर 373 केल्विन एज मोर एनर्जी देन वाटर at the same temperature because particles in steam have observed extra amount of latent heat of vaporization so basically यहाँ पे उन्होंने बहुत ज़्यादा extra amount of latent heat of vaporization absorb कर ली है तभी आपने देखा होगा कई बार steam cooker के अंदर से निकल के हमें ज़्यादा हार्म करती है instead of instead of boiling water why because जो steam होती है उसके पास ज़्यादा amount of heat energy होती है तभी तो वो state change करे right अब अगर स्टेट चेंज हुआ है मतलब उसने ज्यादा अमाउंट ऑफ हीट एनर्जी को अब्सॉर्ब किया तभी तो वो उसके पार्टिकल्स जो है उसे ओवरकम कर गए राइट अगर वो लिक्विड में ही पड़ा रह गया दैट मींस उसने कुछ ना कुछ कम अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी अब्सॉर्ब किया है जिसकी वजह से जो स्टीम है वो ज्यादा बर्न्स कॉज करती है इंस्टेड ऑफ बॉइलिंग वाटर आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस पॉइंट बट डू नॉट डू इट प्रैक्टिकली एट होम बिकॉज़ इट कैन हार्म यू राइट Effect of change of pressure. That's the most important thing that we have already studied, and this is the thing that I have given written so that you can easily able to read it properly. Also, I will read it for you as well. The physical state of matter can be changed by increasing or decreasing the pressure. So, the physical states I have already studied. It can be changed when we increase the pressure or decrease it. Along with the temperature, obviously, so gases can be liquefied by applying pressure or by lowering pressure. When high temperature, high pressure is applied to a gas, it gets compressed. जब हम ज़्यादा pressure apply करेंगे gas में, तो obviously बात है, वो compress हो जाएगी. For example, you might have seen your LPG cylinder at home, right? So उन्हें जब fill किया जाता है, they have to apply a large amount of pressure on that gas to get compressed. And get liquefied and get into the container or the cylinders that you are using at home, right? So next thing is effect of change of pressure. What do you mean by effect of change of pressure? Gases can be liquefied. अभी हमने पढ़ा by pressure and temperature also, right? When a high pressure is applied to a gas, it gets compressed, and if the temperature is lower, the gases liquefied. So a solid CO2 gets directly converted into gases on decrease of pressure to one atmosphere without coming into liquid state. This you can do at home also. Actually, the solid CO2 gets converted into gaseous state. Pressure hota hai, one atmospheric pressure hota hai is time pe. Or CO2 ko, the solid CO2 ko ek stone aata hai. Market mein it is easily available. Uh, you can buy after this uh, few holidays that the government has declared. 
so uh, after this you can buy solid co2 and you can do that experiment at your home also and put it in some water at one atmosphere pressure what you uh, observe is there is a fourth kind of layer formed in that particular area that solid co2 is also known as dry ice if you learn about this thing dry ice that is basically solid co2 that means we have a capacity to convert gas into solid form right so think it in another way right now you are a young scientist and you are having such good minds and fresh minds right so another topic but not the least that's a very important topic again evaporation that you see in your day to day life the process of conversion of a substance from liquid state to gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point matlab boiling point se niche kisi bhi temperature pe jab गैसेस में कन्वर्ट हो रहा है लिक्विड राइट सो उसे हम क्या कहते हैं इवेपोरेशन और वी कॉल इट एज वेपोराइजेशन ऑल्सो सो इवेपोरेशन इज बेसिकली अ सरफेस फिनोमिना हमने बॉइलिंग में क्या पढ़ा था बॉइलिंग इज अ बर्फ फिनोमिना एंड इवेपोरेशन इज अ सरफेस फिनोमिना वट यू मीन बाय सरफेस फिनोमिना इन केस ऑफ बॉइलिंग वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वाटर पूरा का पूरा बॉयल होता है कभी देखा ऊपर का बॉयल पहले हो गया नीचे का बाद में नहीं कुछ टाइम लेता है वाटर पूरा बॉयल होने के लिए बट उससे पहले अगर आप प्रोसेस को ऑब्जर्व करें बहुत ध्यान से तो आपको कुछ वेव्स या स्टीम्स निकलती हुई नजर आएंगी राइट वो वेव्स एंड स्टीम्स जो है ना वो बेसिकली क्या कुछ वाटर गैसियस फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट होना शुरू हो गया दैट इज नोन एज सरफेस वाटर की बात कर रहा है कि एक ऊपर का सरफेस जो काफी ज्यादा हाईली एनर्जाइज हुआ हुआ है जिसके पास ज्यादा काइनेटिक एनर्जी है जो नीचे से मॉलिक्यूल्स ऊपर लेयर पे आ गए उनपे ज्यादा काइनेटिक एनर्जी है वो वेपराइज होना शुरू हो गए हैं दैट इज नोन एज वेपोरेशन ये हमारा नॉर्मल फिनोमिना भी है जैसे आप अगर कभी यू हैव थ्रोन सम वॉटर ऑन द फ्लोर एंड इट्स अ सनी डे वट विल हैपन वॉटर गेट्स इवेपोरेट विद इन फ्यू मिनट्स राइट so that is also known as evaporation what happens in this case is jo aapka water hai that is absorbing the heat from the surroundings or from the object on which it is kept right and it is getting evaporated into the atmosphere and causes cooling effect as well how you might have seen certain people using desert coolers at home what's the process of desert cooler the process of desert cooler is the same as that of evaporation what happens on the pads when the water is there you might have seen the desert coolers i uh, hope so so on the pads when the water is uh, thrown with the help of pump the pads get wet and when the air comes in hot air comes in so what happens that water just absorbs the heat of that air and gets evaporated so when the water absorbs the heat from that air so air gets cooled down am i right yes so when the air gets cooled down what will happen obviously when the air will lose their heat and cool down then we will get a cool air inside our room that's the function of the desert cooler that also happens in case of dry matka or then pot you can say right so and uh, some people throw uh, water on the roofs of their houses in order to uh, make the rooms cool which are below that roof right so factors affecting the rate of evaporation what are the factors that affect the rate of evaporation first factor increasing the surface area of the liquid obviously when the surface area is more then the rate of evaporation is more for example let's take an example of saucer when you uh, just drink your milk or uh, a cup of tea you are having a saucer along with it what do you do with that saucer you uh, sometimes you pour some uh, milk or uh, hot tea in that saucer and it will cool down How, why it will cool down uh, more quickly than it is kept in the cup because a saucer will provide a more surface area to that liquid 
to cool down so when the surface area will be increased the evaporation is also increased right the second point is increasing temperature that's the most important point again what will happen when we increase the temperature obviously the evaporation will also increase but decrease in humidity should be there why there is decrease in humidity because if there is always a water vapor present in the air that is humidity is present in the air i hope you understand what is humidity okay let me explain humidity is basically the amount of water vapor present in the air right so when we decrease the amount of water vapor present in the air then only the water vapor can go up into that atmosphere if there is already a large amount of water vapor present in that atmosphere then more water uh, retaining capacity is not uh, uh, there in the atmosphere right so evaporation will be lowered down automatically right so increase in wind speed as you know about increase in wind speed what happens with increases wind speed uh, you might have seen your parents uh, they just spread their clothes on the roof of their houses so that the wind speed can help them help the things to uh, help the particular cloth to get dry soon why because all those wind with the increase in wind speed what happens is so with the increase in wind speed what happens was the rate of evaporation will also increase right 